Okay. All right, we we coming into the cl to the close of the seven. Just personally, myself, guys. Usually, I like to when I come into the close of the seven. I don't like to be cl me personally. I don't like to be closing the seven earlier than the time that just, that we're supposed to be closing because it means like it seems like we're rushing the seven to be over with. That's just a personal thing. So I like to kind of at least go into it when the sun set. If it's a minute or two, I feel better with that than 15 minutes, like starting at 7 o'clock and then be done at 7.15 and there's still 20 minutes left for the sun to set. And then people start doing everything, yes. I thought we were going to talk until sunset. Yeah, we, we are. That's why we, we start now. We're just going to talk a little bit into it, a little bit. Because I don't know what time the sun set. 10.32. 10.32, So we, we're not going to go that long, though. Um, but I hope everybody enjoyed itself that we've been here this time. Uh, I want to thank sincerely everybody, well, from my heart, to and Lisa, their hospitality, how they have provided for us here. They were like soldiers, man. They were workmen in all areas, food, repairs, everything, maintenance, <laughs> cooking, steak together, gathers. So they had to be they had to, they may they may not say anything, but they had to be tired. Though. You got to be tired after something like that. So, huh? Yeah. So I want to thank y'all. I want to thank y'all for for what he has done. I also want to thank all you all as well because the other day we we tore down some things and after the sunset we're gonna try to get things back in order here, <laughs> in the way it was. So it's been a wonderful time. Any, I was going to ask Eric. Eric, you want to mention that last thing about the, you know, about the feast? You, you got to just mention, we just close out with that. And I mean, then I'll say a few words that we've done. You give him a mic. No, Eric, who, who's going to do it? <laughs> Eric. Eric. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, okay. Cello. Oh. Cello. <laughs> Looking at the feast, when, as my dad was going through the feast, I, I realized that each um, each of the items in the sanctuary, I remember I was talking about the, the creation in the sanctuary, how you got the Ark of the Covenant, the veil, table showbread, the altar of incense, the candlesticks, the laver, and the uh, altar of burnt offering, seven, seven, seven things in the tabernacle, well, each feast day match up with one of those items. And here we go. So, also a burnt offering is Passover. We see that, you know. The laver is unleavened bread. Because remember, they crossed over the Red Sea on the day of unleavened bread, baptism, so. Then the first fruits will be the table of showbread. So what's the first thing we do when we go into the holy place? We go to the table of showbread, right? And first fruits, think about it, you got 12 stacks of bread on there. You got 12 pieces of bread on there, which represents 12 tribes or 12, the 12 apostles, which are our first fruits. So that would be the feast of first fruits, that table of, sh of showbread. And then, yeah, 144, yep. And then you go to the candlesticks, and that would be the um, Pentecost. Because think about Pentecost, the word spread, right? The gospel spread, so that's like the light into the, you know, into the world. That will be Pentecost. Then the next feast is Feast of Trumpets. That will be like the altar of incense because there's a verse that talks about us lifting up, lifting up our voice, the voice with the trumpet. Like they, their voice with the trumpet. They lifted up their voice with the trumpet. So we think about we our prayers. Are we lifting up our prayers to Yahweh. So that will be the trumpets. And then you got the veil, which will be the, the Day of Atonement. Because remember what happened when Yahushua sacrificed himself. He, he made himself an atonement. Then the veil was ripped. 
And then the Feast of Tabernacles, of course, would be the Ark of the Covenant, which is represents, you know, heaven and being in his presence. Yeah. So so it's huh? Oh. So it's important that you know, for us I I think even more after this feast we had here today, uh, for this eight days. I think it's more. I think it's even more important enough for us to recognize the importance of the feast. I think, you know, I know myself. Oftentimes, didn't look at the feast as being that important because I was always told, and I ran with that. I was always told that the feasts were done away with because when you should die on the cross, it was no longer for the feast. What they correct about one part of it, there's no requirement for keeping the animals and stuff like that because if you're if you are still out there killing goats and lambs and and if you don't have it you know people that was poor couldn't have, couldn't have goats and lambs they could they could they could sacrifice turtle doves and and pigeons it's like you all didn't know that they could do that as well for the poor i'm sh pretty sure that that's not a requirement anymore because for us to believe that for us to truly believe that that's still a requirement then we are, we're in essence saying that the true Savior didn't come. You know you're actually saying that. You're going out there killing a goat and sacrificing. First of all, you don't have a temple. You don't have nothing to do that with. But let's just say you call yourself going to do that. I have a story. I had a, a real quick. I had a, we was over some friend's house one time. And this lady was sitting down showing me how her husband and all them would, would kill a goat. They showed me a goat hanging from a tree. And she said that this, she said, this is what we do. We sacrifice animals. And then I'm sitting there, I'm looking at this goat. And then she started to kind of frown up a little bit because she was telling herself, she said, I told my husband, something don't seem right about this. <laughs> she said, this goat hanging up here on this tree, just hanging down. What are we doing with this goat? And this is over. This is over a friend of mine's house. So they, I don't even know what. I ain't talked to him, and I don't know when. So I don't know what ever happened at a, a thing about the goat, other than the fact she said that they stopped killing goats. She said they stopped killing them, but I don't know what their, the rest of their thinking was and belief was. But I thought that was interesting, though. It, it bothered her to the fact that she didn't understand. She told her husband she didn't understand why we out here killing goats. You know, there's no more need for sacrifices. That's, that's done away with. But it's important for us to keep these feasts. They kept them in the New Testament. All through the New Covenant, they kept them. Right? Give me an example. Give me an example of two in the New Testament that was kept. Two. I think we lost sound. You know that? Is, of course, you know it's in Acts, right? I know it's in Acts. I don't know what chapter. 27 9. It uses the word fast. And if you look at the, the concordance of it, it means Day of Atonement. What's another one? Somebody have another one? Unleavened bread. Unleavened bread. Rich said unleavened bread. Where's that found? It, it's found in a few places, but one, what's one of them? One of them is in 1 Corinthians 5, Corinthians. verse 8. Yeah. Another one is found in. In uh, Acts 20, verse 6, mm -hmm. I believe it is. Mm -hmm. um, Passover. Are, huh? Passover. Passover is, is 1 Corinthians 5, verse 7, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, Pentecost, of course, is pretty obvious. Yeah. That was pretty obvious. Um, so it's important for us to understand that these feasts are important. And we always talk about it that I think we would rather be keeping the holy days, the feast days, then be keeping the pay, the pagan day. Pagan day. So, if no, what time is it? Let's pick him up your, uh, oh, he's missed it. Yeah. What? What time is it? Uh, oh, okay. So, does anybody have anything they want to say? Anything? You got to be something. We've been here for eight days. This is the eighth, this is the close of the eighth day. Oh, you got some? You got some, Chris? Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, you made it right in time, huh? 
I just you, you do say let somebody else praise you. Yeah. So I gotta give praise or not praise, but I guess recognition to the two that stayed the whole time without oh, yeah. without leaving not once, and that's Tuesday and Watts. I think they're the only yeah. ones that that stayed yeah. without yeah. leaving the camp. You know, not one time. That takes a lot because you know she got children and. He yeah. probably had stuff. He he got uh, children and stuff at the house. His wife probably needed, you know, but he stayed, you know. So that's that's big, and that's what we should be doing. They yeah. exemplify what we should be doing. So yeah. And I just want to once again, I know I said the other day, but thank Troy, Miss Troy, uh, and Miss Lisa, um, for the hospitality, and I pray that the Most High um, blesses back into their union, you know, for what they've yeah. given out uh, yeah. to yeah. this year. I pray, yeah. I really, truly pray that the Most High blesses back into yeah. y'all. I believe, he, I believe he will bless them. He's already blessing them, but he's going to bless them even more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So adding on to what you just said, I do, I, and I mentioned yesterday that, that Andre took on himself, took on himself to do this. And I just, man, you just don't know how much. He said Eric and me. And he said he don't mind doing it at the assembly. You know, we have Todd doing it as well when he comes up here the week. But whenever he's not there, Andre say he doesn't mind doing it. He, it looked like he enjoyed doing it. You don't have to get, to, have to get there now. Huh? You don't have to get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to get there. Got to, we got to pray that he don't wait to 1025 later <laughs> and, then, and then show up about two minutes later because he, he's right there, you know. But I do want to thank everybody that played a participant part because Tuesday and uh, Zatea and Anna Leah and, uh, and Jackie, all you all, I know the ones I actually saw, per se, uh, participated in helping them in the kitchen and stuff, too, as well. So, and even in the house. <laughs> so, anybody have anything else? Come on, guys. You got, somebody got to have something. This, especially, come away this, I'm putting y'all on the spot. Coming this far? Tony, I know you want to say something. Tony, you ain't, getting, you ain't getting emotional on me, are you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you good this time? Okay. Hey, Rich. Just want to give the praise and the hallelujah to y'all. Come this far and spend time wherever, while y'all hear y'all on, you know, online. And come here and just feel like, you know, a family. Yeah. A family that, you know, a spiritual family that, you know, we don't got our home. Yeah. But it's... Uh, it's it was a bit of uh, relief. And I just want to tell you all that. Yeah, praise. 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 Yeah. And I want to I want to thank Uncle Grady and Keisha. Keisha and them was up here. Her and Andre was up here and the children. But then they still stayed online. So both of them been I, pretty much as long as we've been on, right, Andre? As long as we've been on and able to get on, they've been on. So it's been a blessing with them. And they're pretty dedicated, too, because even when we back at the assembly, they're usually on. So it's, it's been a really a wonderful thing. And I'm glad they made it back safely. And I pray that Richard and his family, that all of them, and Shardner make it back safely. And then all the rest of us. Because I don't know, don't none of us live in Ranger. I don't even know if any of us, nobody here lives in Calhoun, right? Huh? No, no, I'm talking, I'm talking about the ones here. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> So, Daresville, Cartersville, um, Rome, where else? TJ in Dallas. Dallas, TJ in Dallas, anywhere else? Florida, of course. Well, where? Huh? Ranger. Well, right, this is the home here. Yeah. <laughs> you, got you got too far to go. <laughs> so, I, again, I just want to thank everybody for their participation and help and everything that's, that's been done. And even we're going to, even afterwards, I'm thanking you all before we even start doing it after the sunset. So if nobody else have anything else whatsoever, we can just stand for closing prayer. I just want to say um, that my family and I, we really did enjoy ourselves and we felt at home there and, we just enjoyed everything. It was a wonderful experience. Just rejoicing, Yahuwah, and I just love you all. So I just want to say thank you for everything. And again, Where thank you, Lisa and Troy, for your hospitality. Yes. 
So let me go ahead and we'll have a closing prayer. Father in heaven, we come before you this day. We thank you for your grace and for your love and your mercy. We thank you for allowing us to be here these eight days where we can give honor and glory to you, rejoicing in your name. We thank you so much for the for how you have protected us here. We we had an incident that almost could have been a disaster, but then you put your hand, you covered us again. We've had people get bitten by a few a bees, but you made sure that they were okay as well. We just had a few little incidents, but those incidents were covered by you, so it didn't didn't affect anyone. We just thank you so much for your love, and we pray that each and last one of us here have gotten some out of this feast, those online, those that were here and left, and we pray that ne that if you see fit in your will that next year, if we have this feast by your grace and mercy, by your will, that it would even be better than the two that we already have had. We thank you so much, and we love you, and we give you all the praise and all the splendor, all the, all the much as we can give. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.